and really see the world. Well, now is the time to take advantage of your summer vacation and do something really different. Tech expert uh, Katie Linendahl uh, joins me now from New York with some alternative vacation deals and ideas, all taking you off the beaten path, just like, uh, yes. I don't know, going to a water slide unlike you've ever seen before. <laughs> Yes, let's talk about Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. It is home to Noah's Ark, and it is also home to the Scorpion. And what that is, is it's North America's first looping water slide. And incredibly high tech. It's the tallest and largest of its kind in the world. And it even uses computerized control system and sensors to make sure you come out in one piece. Huh. It is 10 stories high, Frederica, 400 feet in length. And you hit a 45 degree angle at speeds of up oh to gosh. 40 miles per <gasps> hour. And remember, this is America's largest outdoor water park. So if you get bored, there's 49 other slides and tons of other amusements and attractions oh that will keep you busy and cooled off this summer. <laughs> oh, so this is, a, this is a family thing. This is not like a water park where mostly, you know, the attractions are for kids, but I'm seeing a lot of adults in the pictures here. Yeah, tons of things to go through. And I love that it's like mm. incredibly high tech. Again, this is the largest yeah. one, largest and tallest of its kind in the world and the first looping water slide. Remarkable technology using computerized controls, sensors, exit hatches. Oh my They're going to keep you in one piece, but it's going to be incredibly fun. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm for the adventurous, but then you have something else that's for kind of the yes. adventure travelers out there who, you know, have to top their trips with every trip. Exactly. Let's talk about Earthwatch. And this is something that a lot of people haven't heard about. This is oh. kind of an intense choose your own adventure. If you're looking for Cancun, this isn't it. Mm. Earthwatch is all about getting into the field with researchers and scientists. Okay. And you actually spend about 7 to 15 days long in mm. a hands-on exploration and really make a difference in the scientific research. Mm. 50 different countries participate around the world. And again, there are a number of expeditions to choose from. The one that we're showing you is actually one in the South African National Park where you're monitoring the population of brown hyenas. Pretty remarkable. You can also research caterpillars and climate changes mm. in Costa Rica, oh discover and preserve Italy's ancient uh, treasures. You can be anywhere from 10 to 90 years old. These expeditions travel in teams, college classes, even teen units. And in most places that you go into are specifically just for scientists and researchers. So if you really want to get hands on, you want to take something away from your summer travels, it is all about Earthwatch. Oh my goodness, that is fascinating. But something tells me there's a big old price tag that comes with that because you may be going <laughs> very far. Is there? Even though you may be, yeah, I guess, donating it, your time for free in a sense for the research. <laughs> But you start to pay. Right. It is pretty expensive. It runs in the thousands of dollars. But mm. what I found out and what I made you out is there is flushing toilets. If I'm paying <laughs> a few thousand dollars for a trip, there better be a flushing toilet. I That's what's important. So, but if you're out there <laughs> in the bush and you really want to, you know, get in with the research there, uh, you know, maybe maybe the flushing toilets will have to go, you know, fall by the wayside. I don't know. <laughs> but they guarantee yeah, it, right. you say. <laughs> Yes, and of course, some really cool expeditions as we showed you there. The hyenas, you can track their population. Yeah. Different researching with whales and the I oceans. Like just so something for everyone. No porter potties out in the ocean. So, you know, read between <laughs> yeah. the lines, right? Katie Linendahl, <laughs> right. thanks so much. Good to see you.